In this question, you have to find the mirror image of the shape on the left. The shape on the left has been reflected in a vertical mirror line. Select the exact reflected shape from the five answer options on the right. In order to answer this question, we're going to consider how this figure would look once it's reflected in this vertical mirror line. The resulting reflection will be represented by one of these five answer options. And to help us decide on the correct answer, we can take a closer look at this figure. Like this. When you're presented with complex figures like this one, try to see each element independently and think about how each one would look when it's reflected in that vertical mirror line. Try not to look at the figure as a whole and see it reflected, as this is quite a difficult thing to do. Let's begin with this larger section or shape here. You can see this sort of shape forms a corner at the moment in the top left hand corner of the figure. When this reflects it will of course be the opposite way round, so this right angled corner will be towards the top right of the reflected figure. The triangle that sits at this position will be in the corner on the opposite side with that diagonally placed side the opposite way round. You can note that this side is the same orientation as this side of the triangle and therefore that side, when reflected, will be in the same orientation as the side of the triangle too. The grey shading, which is closer to the mirror line, will be closer to the mirror line in the reflection, meaning that larger shape will look like this. As you can see, it's the opposite way round, like this, but the shading which is closer to the mirror line is closer to the mirror line in the reflection too. Now consider this shape. This shape, towards the right of this figure, will be towards the left of this one, the same distance away from the mirror line as in the original and having the same relationship with this grey shaded shape. So that shape will reflect to look like this. You can see that this side is the opposite way round. Now think about this triangle. This triangle is a smaller version of this one. It's in the same orientation, but just is different in size, so this will be the same in the reflected version too. That smaller triangle will sit here like this. Finally, we can look at this trapezium. The grey shaded trapezium here towards the bottom of the figure will be towards the bottom of the figure here, and you can see the relationship between the sides of the trapezium and the shapes to either side of it. So again, these relationships will remain the same. We can now look for this reflected version of the figure amongst the five answer options. Here is that reflected version of the figure then, and here are the five answer options. In option A, you can see that this shape is correct. The position of this one and of the larger shape here is right too but the triangle is in the wrong orientation. Remember, it should mirror the orientation of this triangle, and in A it doesn't, so A is not the right answer. In B, the triangle is correct, though, and all the remaining elements of the figure are also correctly placed and shaded. B could therefore be correct. In option C, although the majority of the elements appear correct, these two shapes are wrong. Consider this shape and this shape, and how they are arranged and shaded. In C, the shading is right, but the shapes are wrong. In option D, it's this part of this shape which is wrong. We should have a grey shaded section, a white shaded section, and a triangle here. But in D, that triangle is not present, so D cannot be the right answer. In E, once again, these two shapes are wrong. This should be a trapezium, but it isn't. This shape should have this side in the opposite orientation like this, but it doesn't. So E can't be the right answer. It means then that B was indeed the correct answer to this question. This figure represents a reflected version of the figure we were presented with. Top tip. Features which are close to the mirror line will be close to the mirror line in the reflected version of the shape or diagram. Those which are further away will also be further away in the reflected version. 
Now you can try a second similar question. Remember, in this question, you have to find the mirror image of the shape on the left. The shape on the left has been reflected in a vertical mirror line. Select the exact reflected shape from the five answer options on the right. In order to answer this second similar question, you should consider how this figure will look once it's reflected in a vertical mirror line. The resulting reflection is represented by one of these five answer options. So when you're ready, pause the video and try to work out the correct answer to the question. You should try to do that within 30 seconds, and when you've finished working, you can resume the video and we'll check the answer together. In order to answer this question then, we can take a closer look at this figure. Like this. As you can see, once again we have this larger shape and once again it sits in the corner of the figure. This time it's in the bottom left hand corner with the triangle in this orientation. The right angle is here. This will be the opposite way round in the reflected version with the right angle appearing towards the right hand bottom corner, not the left hand bottom corner as we see here. This grey shaded section is furthest away from the mirror line and will therefore be furthest away from the mirror line in the reflection. Remember that the orientation of diagonally placed sides will appear the opposite way round in the reflected version, so be aware of that. It means then that this larger shape, once it's reflected, will look like this. You can see the grey shaded section is the same distance away from the mirror line as this section. This triangle is the opposite way round to this one, and this diagonally placed side appears in the opposite orientation. Vertically placed and horizontally placed sides keep the same orientation. Now consider this element of the figure. We have three lines arranged in this formation, a right angle here with this line halfway between those two lines. This will be the same on the opposite side in the reflection, but of course the other way round. The right angle here is close to this point of this part of the shape, and that will be the same in the reflected version too. The shapes at the end of those lines are arranged like this. White square, grey circle, white triangle. So in the reflection we will have white square, grey circle, white triangle meaning that element of the figure will look like this. We can now look for this reflected version amongst the five answer options. So here is the reflected version of the figure and here are the five answer options. In option A, although the main shape appears to be correct, you can see that the shapes at the end of those three lines are wrong. We should have a square in the higher position and a triangle in the lower position, but it's the opposite way round in A. In option B, the shapes are correct, but you can see that this shape and this triangle are wrong. The triangle should cover the whole of the corner like this, but in B it doesn't. It means that B can't be the right answer either. In C, that triangle is correct, but the orientation of this side is wrong. It's the wrong way round. In option D, the triangle is correct, and so is this side. It's correctly orientated. This time, it's this one which is wrong. Consider how it should look, and then look at option D. E is the only answer option to have all of the elements correctly placed and shaded. They are all in the right alignment and orientation and all have the correct relationship to one another. It means then that option E was the right answer here.